So after setup, we need another function. Uh, the neat thing about setup is that it runs once. Um, in processing, we're gonna get to a point where we want it to refresh all the time. That's what's gonna happen in draw. So we wanna do a new function, it's called void draw. Void is the type of function, draw is the name of the function. And we're gonna do this after setup. We need the two curly brackets. Okay. And we need to go ahead and type it in correctly so that there is no values. Now, first thing we wanna do is the outline of our square. That is gonna be done by stroke. This is the pen color. So stroke, you need a value in there, okay? So let's see, okay, we want a color value. So let's go 255 comma 255 comma 255. Okay. Now, that is 100% red, 100% green, 100% blue. Does anybody know what color that is? White. White. You don't have to do it this way. You can type in whatever you want, okay? You can go up to color selector, select what you want. You can type it to actually directly in color selector, 285, 285, and zero, and that gets you a nice yellow. So a mixture of red and green is yellow. You could also copy the hexadecimal, multiple different ways to do this. So that's the color. Now, stroke weight, okay, is going to give you how thick is your pen. It's in pixels. It's a unit of measurement for computer graphics. I'm gonna go three. That's a very thin, 10, one is default, three is decent. Now, we wanna draw a square. They don't have a square function, but they do have what's called a rectangle function. Rect. Now this rectangle function, you need four values. Height, width, and location, x, y. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in four numbers that we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna type in 100 comma 150 comma 50 comma 35. I'm just gonna do that and we're gonna experiment and try to figure out which one is what. But there's four values, width, height, X and Y location, okay? And there's a pattern that you'll start to see on all these functions, okay? The first two numbers are gonna be something, the second two numbers are gonna be linked together. So we gotta figure out which one's X, Y, and which one's width and height, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit play. Up pops our screen. Now, do you notice the yellow outline, okay? Now, you'll notice something. This is pixels. 100 is going over in this direction. Then we go down to 150 to this upper left-hand corner. So 100 comma 150 is the X and Y location of the upper left-hand corner. Then you'll notice 50 pixels going down to 35 is the width and the height. We drew our first rectangle. It's not a square yet, but it's a rectangle. And you'll notice it is white inside. Now, going back here, looking at it, this 100 is the X value of your upper left-hand corner of the rectangle. This is the Y value. And some of you guys are kind of sitting there going, this sounds like math. It is. 
50 is the width, 35 is the height. To get a square, the width and the height are the same. Now, there's one more function I want to talk about, and that's how do we change the color on the inside. That is fill. You fill in something. Now, I want to fill it in as a combination of red and blue. So this is going to have a yellow outline with a red and a blue interior located at 100, 150 as a square 50 comma 50. Is that a mixture of red and blue, purple? It is a square. That is how you draw shapes. 